welcome back to our kitchen and happy new year. Um, we're going to start the kickstart the new year off by doing some bottling because it's that time of year. So, wow, did you see how big that kiddo was? Looked like a chicken. Anyway, sorry. Um, we have a plum tree. We're really fortunate to have a plum tree. And I'm sure you know people out there that also have plum trees. So, uh, for you people living overseas, well, aroha mai, you just have to wait until six months' time when you have plum trees, the fruiting. But for now, here in New Zealand, what I've done is we've gone out with the grandkids whoop, and picked some plums. Now, look, they're not perfect looking plums, but they're free. So, what we've done is we've sorted out the firmer plums, some of the firmer plums, for the plums that are, uh, have split when they fall on the ground. These plums are perfect for. Actually, they're perfect for anything. They, they're great. They're great for jam. They're great for plum sauce. Um, and, but these firm ones here, I've given them a wash. And what we're going to do is we're going to bottle them. So I'm going to show you how to bottle them. You'll need some bottling jars. If you haven't got these sort of jars, um, find some big jars like this with lids. Okay? You can find jars like this at the second hand store or hit your great grandmothers up. Okay, they'll have them. They will, they'll have them. So even the normal jam jars that have got, as long as they've got a wide mouth so that it's easy enough to put food into, they should be perfectly fine. So um, I've heated up uh, one and a half litres of water and I'm going to add probably, this is how many plums I'm going to do, probably a few more so to, to fill up into these jars. These will go quite squashy, so where I could only fit maybe 15 um, plums that haven't been bottled into here, as soon as they are stewed or cooked, I'll be able to fit 20 in there. So, um, yeah, I know that didn't help much, probably about a couple of kilos. <laughs> I know, sorry, can't tell you. So I've got one and a half litres of water in here. I'm going to add two cups of sugar. Okay, because plums are quite tart, they're really tart. They taste really good when they eat, but the minute you start to cook them, they are like sour airs and it's like, oh. So uh, let me get that done and then I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Right, the pot's on the boil at the moment, so the water's ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carefully drop these bad boys in there. Now some of them are a little bit split from when they've fallen. They're the ones who are going to crap themselves when they're in there, but it really doesn't matter. When you've got it with custard all over, it doesn't really matter. No. So carefully put them in the water so it doesn't splash you. I was going to put my apron on because plums are so, ugh, plums are so, the colour's so vibrant all over my top, but my apron is really ugly. It's a bit shame. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to let that go for gold. Already the skin's starting to split off them, if you have a look. Plums have got to be the easiest things to bottle. Easiest things to bottle. Those and tomatoes. Now, like I've shown you with some of the other preserving um, videos and things, these need to be heated, okay? Hot fruit, hot jars, hot lids. So, I've got a pot here, just with a little bit of water in, that I'm going to drop my sealing... Um, lids in. These are called perfect seals. Okay, so I'm going to drop those in and I'm going to drop my clean lid in here as well so that it can be boiled and sterilized, ready for when the fruit's ready. Now this isn't going to take too long. I'm thinking as a guesstimate in 10 minutes time we'll be bottling them. So I'm going to put these into an oven, just a very warm oven at maybe about 30, maybe 50 degrees just to heat them through. You don't want them any hotter than that because if you have the hot juice in the hot jars, it'll crack your jars. So let me heat these up and sterilize them, boil these up and sterilize them, and cook these up and get ready to bottle them. That makes sense? Sweet, see you soon. Put my ugly apron on. I just don't want it to get it all over my shirt. <laughs> so um, it's just starting to boil. Can you see that? Okay, that means basically, after giving it a little gentle stir, because these are pretty delicate and we don't want them to like totally implode, but um, we want it to be hot enough to heat the fruit all the way through, okay? You need it to be cooked. So that's taken probably 10 minutes max. My jars are hot, 
So I'm going to full melt of the oven. Yep, the jars are hot. And we'll get it going. Okay, so just, uh, oh yes, here's my wee who thingy. The warehouse. Got it from the warehouse. Two buckets, I think, something like that. So um, all I'm going to do now is turn off my heat. My lid's already hot, so I've just turned them off. I've got clean cloths and clean tea towels, and I'm just going to carefully. I've also put it on top of a, a like a, a, a tray so that I don't get it everywhere. Okay, I'll notice how I carefully plop those in there. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So, to be quite honest, when I've been doing like 20 jars, it's just like slam those suckers in there and get it over with. So, you want to have lots of fruit and not so much juice because they're going to start floating. So, I've just drained a bit of the fruit. And that should just about do. I might chuck another one in. Right. Now see how high that's come? See how that's almost to the top? No, that wasn't enough. There we go. We need it to be as high as possible, but not right up to the top. I'm going to wet my cloth real quick. And then I'm going to wipe the lid of the jar, the rim of the jar, sorry, the rim. Hey, also make sure when you get your jars that you run your finger around here and there's no cracks because if, it, if it's cracked, it won't seal, okay? And now I'm going to put the lid on top. So I'm going to leave you to it and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Somebody's at the door. Okay, so hot lid. And the rings around, okay? Nice and tight. I don't tight. know how you do it, it's so hot. It, oh, no, I'm just used to it. <laughs> the courier guy wants to get a photo. <laughs> um, okay, this is our um, jar that we've finished. As you can see, if you can just see, it's it's sucked in. That's because the fruit was hot, the jar was hot, in the, and um, the lids were sterilised, and the seal was clean. So you'll know if your peaches are, or your plums or anything else that you're going to bottle is ready because it concaves in. Okay. This did two jars of plums. Can you see how it's floating? So it would actually take a lot more. We could have actually jam-packed more plums into that. Um, yeah, so what else am I going to tell you? Nothing really. So this is our food storage cupboard. This is what we'll be doing for the next probably month and a half. We'll be doing um, plums, plum jam. I'll show you how to make plum sauce because it's all free. Um, peaches will be online and probably they'll be ready in another month or so. I'll show you how to do that. And that's what we're going to be putting into our food storage cupboard. So this is the time that you need to save your sugar and find your jars and things like that so that you can start putting things into your um, cupboard. So that's it for now. I am hot as because it's so flipping humid here in New Zealand. Hope you guys are well. Loving that you guys are joining us and um, really grateful also that you didn't uh, spend your money on that other fake site. Hope you're well. Ka kite anō.